Well, first of all, thanks for joining us, Owen. Good morning to you. Uh, I want to start off, of course, with what's this pretty depressing news that's come out on the, the national news this morning, that no supporters back in the grounds. We did expect that we could be getting some, at least a thousand, in the next week or so, but now it looks as though that's all put, put on hold. Your reaction to that, first of all? Um, obviously, it's a shame. You know, we want to we want to play in front of the fans and obviously we know the fans want to be back and watching football but right now it's just about staying safe and and doing sticking to the government guidelines so there's not much we can do but you know and then hopefully they'll be back sooner rather than later and we're looking forward to having them back how have you found it now with three or four games under your belt in terms of not having those fans you know you've played at home and you've played away how's it been for the for a professional footballer um it's 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 been pretty similar, really. I think when you're in the game, um, it, there's not much difference. You know, you're focused and you've got to go and get out and get the result. You know, you still laugh to three points. So, obviously, it is different. But when you're in the game and in the moment, um, you just you just get on with the game. I think more when you're sat in the stands, you, you, you can see a difference. You, uh, you realise there's no atmosphere or stuff like that. But when you're in the game, it, it's, it's business as usual. I suppose, you know, as, as a footballer, you've got to get on with your job. But for the people who run the club, like the chairman and, and, and the vice chairman and the board of directors, it's a major worry, isn't it, with, with the biggest income that really a football club generates is not coming in. And, and you, as a professional footballer, get paid by, you know, by them and the fans are helping to pay your wages. It must be getting a bit worrying now of the state financially for the football league clubs, you know, in the lower leagues, in League One and League Two. Yeah, I think I think it could be worrying for a lot of a lot of clubs in League One and League Two, but um, luckily our clubs ran extremely well. So I think in that aspect we're we're all right. Um, but obviously, again, fans do uh, bring in a massive income, especially for a club like us. So getting them back safely and as soon as possible is is obviously very important. So that needs to happen as soon as possible and when it's safe. Well, let's look at the football on the pitch then. A couple of games done and dusted. Unfortunately, there's no points on the board. You must be just wondering, as you build up towards your next challenge this weekend, of why there isn't any points on the board, especially after last weekend's performance and a, a fairly encouraging one on the opening day. Yeah, I think, I think um, what we spoke about is just um, being a bit more ruthless and being a bit better in both boxes. I think... I think we've we've coped well. I think we've probably been. I think on Sat on Saturday we're probably the better team, and uh, we probably deserved more from the game. We definitely didn't deserve to lose, you know. But looking back on it as a team, we've we created some really really good chances, and it's just about taking them and making the right decisions at the right time. And I think I think we'll be fine um, as a team. We're playing good football like we always do. It's just about taking them chances when they come along now. I think it tells a point, doesn't it? I don't know whether you saw the, the game on the TV with. Uh... Manchester City against Wolves. I think it just shows wherever you may be, Wolves looked at dead and buried and out of it at 2-0. But then all of a sudden, there's chance, 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 chance to score. They didn't take them. So even at the highest level, that is a critical part of, the, of, of winning a football match, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. And that's, that's the main thing we've got to work on. You know, um, between, between both boxes, we've been, I think we've been very good. You know, we, um, especially on Saturday. We played some really good football, and um, I think for large parts of the games we were on top. Um, but like you say, you don't take them chances, and in this league you'll probably get punished more than we did last year. So it's about us taking those chances, getting on top early, and then man managing the games. One thing I'm pretty sure that the management team and the coaching staff won't allow you to do is to feel depressed and down and out because there's only just two games gone. You haven't got any goals. You haven't got any points. And you and you and you you know you you deserve something out of that, so it's no use being despondent, is it? No, no. Like you say, we've um, we've looked back over every game we've played so far this last season. There's plenty of positives to take from every game. So you know we're not we're not down, we're not disheartened. We just know that we just need to start scoring goals and taking chances. And once we start doing that, we'll be we'll be right on our way. Another thing I'm pretty sure that they will be on to you because you have played Charlton and Hull, both championship sides last year and would be expected to be around their promotion places come the end of the season, that when you come up as your next challenge, which you're preparing for, is the MK Dons, 
They might not be the biggest name in League One, but you've got to be focused exactly as you've been in the two games and hopefully the result changes for you then. Well, yeah, that, that never changes, you know, no matter who we play. You know, we give them the respect we, they deserve and we go in and do and give 100% in every game. But like you said, you know, two championship teams that came down and I think we, you know, we did more than enough to win both games. Um, so, you know, we're not, we're not worried about stuff like that. We just, we know what we need to improve on. We will improve on it and we'll be fine. Are you surprised that you haven't scored a goal in the league? I as am. a team, not just, I'll get on to you on a personal note in a moment, but as a team, what you've got in your, in your, in your squad, are you surprised there's been no goals from the 118 minutes of League One football? Yeah, I, I am surprised, but especially when we, we look back on it in, our, in the video and we go over it, you know, we, we are making very good chances and um, we're getting into the right positions. It's just that, that final ball, that end product. And um, like I said, it, it'll come. You know, once that first goal comes for us, I think we'll be fine. Going to the making of chances, there has been quite a few chances. You know, I described one goal. I let myself go at Bolton as a Christmas cracker from Owen Dale. I, I was ready to uh, bring out another word or two on, on Saturday when you were in there. If you had that one over again, what would you be plumping for this weekend? <laughs> uh, hindsight. Hindsight's good, a good thing, isn't it? Um, I probably would have just... I'd probably smashed it as hard as I could. Um, I tried to pick the corner. Um, he's made a good save, but I, I'm backing myself to score there. So that's one of them. I can, I can learn from it um, and take it into the next game. And hopefully if I get that chance again, I put it away. You mentioned you can learn from it. I, I want to say the experience of the way you lost at the weekend, is that something that a whole squad can learn from, uh, uh, you know, as, as you go forward? Yeah, you know, we, we always looking on what we can learn from every game. You know, even if we go and beat a team 3-0, uh, we're looking at what, what can we do better. You know, we're always looking to improve and, and make our performances even better. So, uh, yeah, we can learn a lot from the weekend. I think, I think we defended very well in large parts. You know, our shape was really good. Uh, the way we recovered back into shape quickly as a team was brilliant. I said, like you say, it was just if we had took our chances in the first half and... I think the game would have been completely different, but we didn't. So we need to look at look at why we didn't why we didn't win that game, and which we have done, and go into MK Dons and uh, rectify those mistakes. You on a personal note, you're getting a run in the team from playing some preseason games. It's opened up for you in the first team. That must have been the ambition to to get a first team start at the beginning of the season. Now you've got to maintain that form and keep that shirt. Yeah, you know, um, I'm always looking and trying to do my best to help the team. So the fact that the, the gaffers put me in is, is, um, is great. And I'm just looking to keep improving and, you know, keep trying to make, create goals and score goals for the team. And hopefully I can do that in the next few games to come and, and stay in the team. Do you feel as though you've got stronger now as, it, as I've been games last season and getting through, a, you know, a, a pretty longer pre-season sort of training sessions for, for League One players? to get you to where you are today? Yeah, I think, you know, every day I'm, I'm looking to improve and I'm looking to get better anyway. So I think the, the game time, especially obviously last season was probably my first proper season, getting regular game time for the first team. So that's helped massively and it's just, just continuing to get experience and learn from the older lads and um, working hard on the training ground. Can't hear him Graham, you've muted yourself. Sorry. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> back. back. Just, just, just a final point. Do you feel, Owen, that, like the manager, that you're close to getting the, uh, the three points? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we are close. You know, like I said a few times, we've looked over at the video and um, we know we're close. We know we're playing good football and we know it's just a matter of time. We start taking them chances and... And we'll, and we'll be right, right on our way.